Καλησπέρα, σύντροφοι και συντρόφισσε. <laughs> Χαίρομαι πολύ που είμαι απόψε εδώ μαζί σα. That's it. <laughs> so. So, uh, four years ago, when I arrived to Germany, I was expecting a totally different country. I was expecting a solid economy, state of law guaranteed. But what I have seen since the last... So, thank you. Um, what I have seen in the last six months, I could have never expected. For Six months we have been going on the streets every weekend, me and my comrades of Mera 25 and the N25. Why? Because suddenly Germany decided to be an authoritarian state. Or maybe it was never, uh, it was always like that, but it was just hidden. So day after day we understood that Germany is uh, loyal to Israel no matter what. They have become blind, they have become insensitive. 35,000 deaths haven't changed any opinion in politicians, in the media, in the institution in general. So I would like to give you a small, uh, um, a small description of what happened exactly so that you can understand. So first of all, um, I would like to say today at the demo I was very happy to pronounce the slogan, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. You know why? Because in Germany, I can get arrested for this. So um, they started with words. They started with massive presence of the police at the demos, outnumbering us basically all the time at the beginning. They have started um, provoking and picking up always Palestinian people at the demos, uh, arresting them for nothing because uh, there was no violence at all. But uh, this was a clear message, an intimidation. Any critical voice must be shut down. So what happened? Because uh, this was only on the streets. But then in the cultural centers, in every public institution, uh, budgets have been cut. People have been fired just for um, showing their support to Palestine. The public debate is totally focused on Israel. So there is no contrary voice on TV, on the media, and whoever tries to say something against them, against Israel, uh, is just described as anti-Semitic, um, friend of Hamas, uh, terrorist, extremist. So for this reason, we decided to, um, together with other groups, uh, and me as a representative of DN and Mera 25, to create uh, a stage where the debate could be counterbalanced. So, uh, three days of Congress, the so-called Palestine Congress, I don't know if you have heard about that, um, where actually we were supposed to present voices from Palestine. Uh, Real-time experience, uh, uh, Dr. Gassan Abusita was a night witness in Gaza, so um, deep experiences that were necessary to tell everybody in Germany, look what is happening. Basically, from the beginning, through um, trials of finding out our location, um, trying to freeze our budget, our funds. So just to say, um, the bank account of Jewish Voices for Peace was frozen by the Berliner Sparkasse, so the state bank, because, they wanted to, um, because we wanted to collect money there for donations and the tickets. Um, so they were trying from many levels to stop us. Then started the propaganda. The media uh, were calling us uh, hate summit, uh, um, Israel uh, haters, uh, any kind of uh, accusation without obviously any proof. We were all leftist uh, organization, Palestinian organization, Jewish organization taking part to this. And still, they were accusing us and even the um, minister of the interior even afterwards, without any proof, has accused us of being Islamists. So this is the level of the debate in Germany. 
during the, the Congress also, the massive presence of the police shutting down the electricity in the whole building in order for us not to stream a pre-recorded video message of Salman Abu Sita has been shocking for everybody, not only for me that I'm not used to this kind of behavior in Germany, but even for my comrades in Germany, uh, the German comrades, sorry. They have never seen something like this. What we are living from every part, every institution, is just an attempt to silence us. The word genocide still hasn't been used in public media. No, not once. The first demo that we did, the first of November, after the, the, the ban on protests in Berlin, I was personally um, stopped by the police because I had a sign with written, genocide is not self-defense. And still they are attacked to this uh, slogan, self-defense, the right of existing of Israel. But what about the right of existence of Palestinians? <laughs> Germany is refusing to recognize his role as accomplice in the ongoing genocide. In the International Court of Justice, Israel has been accused heavily. Germany doesn't say a word about it. And now they have also been dragged in front of the uh, International uh, um, Court of Justice for being accomplished. Uh, still, nothing is moving their, their hearts. I am really, um, I'm really surprised as a European and uh, as a, um, citizens uh, convinced to live in a democratic country that actually laws can be overturned overnight. The police at the Congress has never, ever uh, um, given any written uh, explication or declaration for what has been done. They behave totally arbitrarily. So Germany is influencing greatly the European policies, the European Parliament, and all the parties from the left to the right are uniting in this support of genocide. How is that possible? Well, they mention always this uh, uh, Stadt Raison, which is the state reason, which honestly um, is for me just a justification. The Holocaust cannot in any case be used as an excuse for the genocide that is going on now. So the IFD, the far-right uh, party, which is growing greatly, unfortunately, in Germany, is using the anti-Semitic uh, uh, accusation in order to sit back and to let all the immigrants be accused of anti-Semitism, obviously, so that racism grows in society. It is a huge problem now. And with Meta25, we are struggling really hard to make people understand that it's not about immigrants, it's not about um, Palestinians. The fight for freedom regards us as in first place. What we have achieved so far, and we are growing really um, exponentially in the, last, uh, in the last months, I'm so thankful for that, is that we are the only one really supporting all the voices that have, have been suppressed. Palestinian, Jewish voices, anti-Zionist, obviously, but also all the leftist groups that do not find, not even in Die Linke, which was supposed to be the most leftist of the, of the main parties. Not even them are supporting the cause. For example, they, um, before the Congress, they signed a, a Bundes gegen Terror, which was basically a trial to ban, our, an attempt to ban our Congress, saying that terrorists must have been stopped. So we were supposed to be terrorists. Me, personally, I have heard from people that I know that Germany doesn't like extremists on both sides. So I answered, do I look like a terrorist or an extremist, seriously? So what we need to do for the election now is 
what exactly we have been doing the last six months. We need to stay true to our values. We are on the right side of history. And we need to fight until the end because um, Germany has to be, the German government has to be stopped right now before it's too late. One last thing I um, really would like to say is that um, the fight for liberation is a fight uh, for everybody. So it doesn't matter Palestinian, uh, um, Jewish, uh, um, Italian, German, Greek, doesn't matter. We really cannot allow again to happen the same thing as in the past because everybody who allows another person, anybody who allows another person to oppress others, this means that we are going to accept that they are going to do it for us. So um, I would like to call upon you and uh, say, if you know people in Germany who can vote, uh, please tell them to, mo to vote to Mera 25 because we need a strong presence from Italy, from Germany, from Greece in order to stop uh, the, this right turn and uh, make a stop to this madness, basically. Thank you.